politics. Or... I hate standing behind podiums because they're always too high for me. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to go probably a little bit off script because I always go off script within five minutes. Okay. Uh, so let's see. So uh, what I want to talk about are risks and rewards. And actually, uh, there are a lot of people here who are better at talking about the risks than I am. So I'll talk about some of the benefits if we can get access to the data. But I keep coming back to this thought whenever I'm doing research here about trying to understand the risks and the rewards and where we want to put ourselves on this curve. So uh, most of the risks in what I'm going to talk about are privacy risks. The kinds of work that we are doing, the kinds of advanced machine learning that we're doing involves incredibly personal data. It involves your genome. It involves interacting with you moment by moment on your mobile device. So there are a lot of potential problems. This is fraught with dangers. On the other hand, uh, the, the rewards are things like uh, saving lives with you know, certain kinds of cancer or managing, maybe even preventing uh, uh, chronic disease. You know, there are thousands of examples. I'm going to give you a couple that I know a lot about. So the first one is actually work that we had done. We used the Cancer Genome Atlas, which is one of the few uh, uh, data sources that brings together data from many, many institutions. It's really important with cancer to have data on a lot of patients. And so, you know, for example, breast cancer, which is what we worked on here, uh, you know, it's not one disease. We all know that, right? It's many different diseases. And if you have breast cancer, you really should try to figure out which of those diseases you have. Are you going to respond well to tamoxifen? Are you not? Uh, it, and this is especially true with cancer because, you know, if you get put in the wrong cluster, you'll get the wrong treatment. You can't have too many rounds of the wrong treatment without your cancer metastasizing. So we used combinatorial optimization and machine learning not only to figure out what are the different clusters and how to put patients in those clusters, but also, and this is the part that was kind of surprising, uh, you know, if I could tell you what cluster you are in, wouldn't it just be sufficient to have information on the other people in that cluster, the people with the same disease? It turns out using information from all of the clusters allowed us to come up with much better treatments for each individual cluster. And so just one little example that came out of this, there was one breast cancer cluster in which we realized, oh, there is a malfunctioning pathway in here for which there is an FDA-approved drug for a particular gastrointestinal cancer that seems like it's the right drug. So really big rewards, but combining massive amounts of data. And there are not too many data sources like the Cancer Genome Atlas, which are going to bring together this kind of data. Although the NIH just announced today $55 million for Obama's uh, million-person uh, uh, precision medicine, which is fantastic. Okay, a second one um, is chronic disease. So uh, a, a group from one of our labs uh, realized that one of the biggest problems with diabetes, I mean, this is very well known, is that people don't exercise. If they exercised more, they would have much, much better control of their diabetes. This was using reinforcement learning and interactive machine learning to actually give different treatments to different patients, different uh, so there was a control group that always got the same messages, and then there was another group that got different messages. Uh, and that depended on constant A-B testing for each individual. The result was incredible. The patient's glucose levels were really, really wonderful. Uh, it's now being deployed on a much larger scale. So the bottom line here, and I didn't have time to go off message, is that 
we really need to focus on mitigating the risks so that we can all reap the rewards.